Good evening. Taking demands to increase shelter services right to the mayor's front steps. That's, that was the conversation earlier here today on Bedford and Bloor, where Mayor John Tory lives. Demonstrators are asking the city to allocate more resources to help the city's homeless population. This comes days following the tragic death of a 28-year-old man. The gathering honors the man who died of an apparent heroin overdose just days ago. Police suspect it was laced with fentanyl. The man was found in a fast food restaurant less than one block away from the overcrowded warming shelter in Kensington Market that he walked away from. Advocates here today are calling the death of the 28-year-old a shameful example of everything wrong with the city's shelter system. The group here is also protesting the cuts made in this year's budget for shelter, support and housing, many saying the cuts are unfair to the city's most vulnerable. 258 people who overdosed in the city of Toronto do something. We had this as a contingency plan because we were ready for the possibility of somebody with somebody dying and we were so desperately hopeful that we wouldn't have to do this and we've had to come here tonight because a human life has been taken through sheer willful brutal cruel neglect. John Tory is personally responsible as mayor of the city for the man's death. People have told this man who lives in this place, John Tory, um, that, that something like this was going to happen, that it was all but inevitable. Faith groups have organised. People on the front lines of the situation have told him again and again and again, and nothing has been done and a human life has been lost. And we're going to lay flowers in front of this place and we're going to, we're going to mourn the dead and we're going to fight for the living. This is a huge conversation. People's health going down the drain, living outside. What would you like to see come out? And people need a heart. We all have a heart. Use it. What would I like to see? Overcrowded in hostels, they're, it's, it's dangerous. The homeless emergency has collided with the drug overdose emergency. Like Both of the issues are equally strong and important today. The shelters are full. They're beyond 90% capacity. Well, what we'd like to see in this wealthy city is housing for everyone. But that doesn't exist, and people are on the streets. So right now, as an emergency measure, they've got to open space. They must act, they must save lives, because people can't survive on the streets and people can't be driven out without any kind of shelter. Now, just moments ago, Mayor Tory's office issued a statement to City News telling us the death is tragic, but it's unrelated to last week's budget. They're also adding that city staff have assured the mayor's office that the approved 2017 budget would lead to 290 beds coming online this year.